How's it, chaps? Yeah, this is Kevin at Cochamouth, just north of Mazeppa Bay in the southern Transca. Uh, thank you for all the messages wishing me well and that I get over the flu. I've been inundated with them today since yesterday's report, but thank you guys. Appreciate it. I'm feeling much better. But uh, in the news today, yeah, Winkle Strait, a huge net, huge net just came out. And uh, that's wonderful news that these sods are moving much closer to the coast again. And it's about to be game on. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to get real now, guys. Uh, the water temperature still in Durban is hovering around the 20 degree mark. There's some colder patches out there and that's good news because that mixes in with the warm water and keeps the temperature stable. So yeah, let's hope over the next couple of days, uh, these sods around the bluff, which I'm saying they're going to do, Winkle Sprite is not very far from the bluff. It's right there. And once they're around the corner and they get onto the Durban beachfront, then uh, chaos, chaos. But as uh, you guys can see in the video, um, the public, you guys are getting a little bit too close to these nets. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Really, it's, uh, it's not something you want to do. Keep away from these netters um, just because of uh, predator activity. You guys are wading in deep into the water to get the sods that are escaping from the nets. And that's not safe. It's not safe at all. So we don't want any tragedies. We don't want anybody bitten by sharks. There's a lot of predators around. And uh, yeah, so that's all we can say about that Durban area. But let's talk a little bit about what's happening here down south in the Trans Sky. Uh, what we're seeing here is a lot of birds, a lot of gannets. And uh, the water inshore is actually quite warm right now, which I'm going to say is actually just that current that moved through Durban of about 24, 25 degrees has now reached the Cape, the Eastern Cape. And our water is sitting at about 22 degrees right now, which is quite warm for the Eastern Cape. But uh, what I can say is that there's lots of gannets and they're not flying in formation as we discussed earlier. Um, they're not traveling big distances. They're single birds moving around looking for the sods. And what I'm seeing out on the horizon is lots of whales breaching. And these whales that are breaching are brides whales. They're not humpbacks. Humpbacks, as we know, are plankton feeders. They don't feed on the sardines, even though they are very present during the sardine run because they're on their um, wintertime migratory path, which takes them up to Mozambique. But out deep, I'm saying about five to six kilometers out, I'm seeing plenty big splashes. And that's all brides whales that are playing, having fun and just jumping right out of the water, breaching and landing. And those are the brides whales are feeding on sods. So if they're evident, you can know that there's sods around. So yeah, let's, uh, I think there's a lot more sardines still coming through from the Eastern Cape, uh, but they're way deep out here. But uh, yeah, time will tell. Anyway, that's good news for the netters. So yeah, guys, let's just uh, hold thumbs and hope that this is just a bumper crop this year, which I think it's going to be. Still lots of sods coming through. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Keep it real. Keep the beaches tidy. Guys that are fishing, please, guys, we've been hear hearing some reports of really a lot of trash being left on the beach. Um, if you can pack it in, bring it to the beach, then take it out with you. Clean up your areas where you're fishing, uh, especially nylon and line, which seabirds uh, get tangled in. And it's a hazard, hazard to the public as well if there's hooks and stuff like that around. So, yeah. Keep it real, conserve and protect. Look after our marine environment. It's all we got. Cheers.